some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Ohio where a uh, routine traffic stop turns into, well, a call for a safe light repair, safe light replace, as a proto Sovtard attempts to do the Sovtard script, but it ends up failing just as hard as any other Sovtard would. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Um, so the reason why I stopped, you made that right turn from Pearl to Bagley. You made it at the red light, and I'm not sure if you realize, but you almost struck me. I apologize. No, I did not. Okay. You got a driver's license on you? I actually don't have anything. I was going up to work. I didn't bring anything with okay. me today. Okay. No big deal. Let me just take time your info. Yeah, you're supposed to treat it. Well, that right there, you can't even make a right turn at this time, at the I red light. I started working at this office, so I, I'm not really used to this area right now. I'm so sorry. Spoiler alert for anybody who hasn't seen this video. Uh, there are a couple uh, talking points for this video. Well, number one, that uh, she is currently in a relationship with uh, a person who identifies himself as a sovereign citizen. And fun fact... Her father is a police officer who is anti-sovereign citizen, so the two of them tend to butt heads, and here she is caught in the middle of uh, these two uh, ideological worlds. So my opinion on this is that, well, she found herself a man who has indeed decided to, well, brainwash her into the uh, cult of Sovtards. Uh, so maybe one day she'll be able to find her way out of it. So where are you heading right now? I'm going back home. I live out there. So I'm going back home. Where's your job at? It's not right there. So, uh, it's in there. Is there anything illegal inside this vehicle? Who smokes weed in here? Uh, it's just my car. Hmm? It's just my car. So nothing illegal? Can I look inside? I, again, I apologize. I was just heading home. Like, I really, I really didn't know that, that like, I can't turn right there. I'll I'm 100% aware of it now. So the reason why I'm asking is because I do smell weed. I apologize. Yes. And I, I, I really didn't mean to. Like, I had no idea. I'll be super aware of that okay. intersection from now on. Um, I'll be way more confident. Give me a favor because we're going to cause traffic back up here. Can you just pull into that street right here? I'll just make a right. Sure. All right. I appreciate that. It's just um, safety-wise, traffic safety-wise. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, that's that's the reason why I'm asking is because I do smell weed. Obviously, I'm not. If if there is someone here, you're not gonna get cited or anything for it. I like, it's, like a roach or something. Like there might be something like that, but I don't. Right. I don't know if it hop in my head. I got you. Um, yeah, it's like, like I don't. We don't cite no more for those. Okay. Uh, I. I just, my only concern is I'm if there's anything this. else other than that. That's why I'm asking yes, you, I've is it okay if I take a look? Well, this is what I've got. This is okay, what I but have. that's not what I'm asking. Uh, I, I prefer not to, like, because I So based know. on that, I could, just so you know. Okay, I prefer if you didn't. Okay, well, I'm telling you, based on that, I understand. I can't. I'd, I'd prefer if you didn't. Like, again, I'm super okay. sorry. It was just, seriously, it was just an accident. Like, I really didn't mean to. Well, the officer has asked you nicely so far, uh, and according to Pennsylvania versus Mims, well, if the officer asks you to get out of the car, uh, well, it is considered to be a lawful order and uh, you should step out, but uh, she doesn't believe in any of that because of her sovereign citizen training from her boyfriend, so therefore, here in a moment, she's going to go into a little bit of a meltdown and roll up her window. I was supposed to go to the office, people weren't there, I just, I'm trying to get home, I... I really didn't know that the intersection was like that. I please, please, please. All right. Here, come on. Step out. Please come to break. Huh? Please come to I have not written you anything. I I'm just trying I, to be... I don't... <laughs> I also know my rights, and I don't think I have to. And there you go. The soft-tard uh, programming is starting to kick in. 
and it's only gonna go downhill from here to the point where, well, she has to have her uh, window replaced as a result of it. So you know what I would do if I were her father? Well, I would make her soft hard uh, boyfriend pay for the damages to the vehicle considering it's his uh, ideology that ended up getting that window smashed and uh, his ideology that ended up sending her down the wrong path. It kind of makes me wonder what kind of criminal record that this uh, soft hard boyfriend has. You do. So don't make it hard. I really please. I just want to go home. I'm asking you to step out nicely. Stop. I'm asking you to step out nicely. Can you get your name and badge number? It's Officer Nasser, 732. Really Come on out. Like They're at 222. If you're not tied up, you want to swing by. Well, the officer calls for backup, and uh, well, the backup arrives. And uh, he attempts to uh, convince her that this sovereign citizen stuff is nothing more than a load of garbage, pretty much. But she's already in way too deep, and she digs her heels in uh, to the point of no return, most unfortunately for her. So let's carry on, shall we? Hi there, miss. Hi, one more, please. Okay. That's it. Do you have a in the car? Oh, Hi there, miss. Hi. Can you talk to me now, please? One moment, please, sir. Well, okay. I, I, uh, I got pulled over to the office, like, about the officer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now what? Okay. Well, um, I can smell the marijuana too as I'm up here, and I. So. It is. So if an officer tells you you have to step out of the vehicle, you have to step out of the vehicle. That's a lawful order. Okay. So, I'm, I'm being very nice and patient. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you comply with me, I'll give you whatever you want. But right now, you're not. Oh, are you a sovereign citizen? Is that Patrolman Venus Badge 722, okay? Okay, so you've been given a lawful order to exit the vehicle three times by me, okay? That's the first time that you've actually asked me. Okay. So, Can you please um, exit the vehicle? I would like to wait. Can you please exit the vehicle? I would like to wait. Can you please exit the vehicle? Okay, I would like Can to Can you wait. please exit the vehicle? I'm not in Okay, so... I would like to wait. You have to exit the vehicle. And if your father comes here and interferes with the traffic stop, things could get a lot worse. Right now, if it's just marijuana, I'll be honest with you, we do not we do not cite for marijuana. However, it is probable cause for a search and we will need to seize that because you cannot have that legally. Okay, I would like to wait. Do you understand that? Yeah, okay, I would still like to wait. Can you please step out of the vehicle? I would still like to wait. Okay. If you continue this, you're going to be arrested for obstruction. Okay? And that would be an unlawful arrest, and we can deal with that in court. Good luck with that in court. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, go to court on this, uh, and let your soft hard boyfriend represent you in the court. Oh, wait, I, yeah, you can't do that because uh, he doesn't have a law license, because if he had a law license, he most likely wouldn't be a soft hard. So go ahead and represent yourself in there as well. Oh, wait, if you represent yourself, you will have a fool for a client, which, well, you should watch a lot of these soft hard videos on YouTube where these sovereign citizens try to defend themselves in the court but fall flat on their faces because they don't know the protocols. It is hilarious at times. Okay, so you've been given a lawful command. I did it seven times in a row. Okay, or eight, I that also, was eight. I also have my rights and I'm allowed to wait. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, great, great, fantastic. And 
Are there any firearms in the vehicle? No, sir. Okay. Yeah, so listen, I'm going to tell you, if you do not comply, if you do not get out within the next 30 seconds, I'm breaking this window and you're being drug out. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? If you do not comply, I've given a lawful order for you to exit the vehicle 10 times. If you do not comply within 30 seconds, I will break the windshield and drag you out of the car. Do you understand that? I don't think I can make that any more clear to you. You must exit the vehicle. Okay? You can post this. You can think you're cool posting it on the internet. You are wrong. You are wrong. Okay? So you must exit the vehicle. You can peacefully exit the vehicle. Yep. Scared. Well, I this is all. This is all on you. Okay. I'm thoroughly scared. You're at this point. Okay. My safety, Females the refusing to exit the vehicle. Uh, you can please show up here. Okay, I'm gonna break the window if you do not exit the vehicle. Officer, yeah. I really need. I need a supervisor here before you take those kind of extreme measures. Ready? No, no, sir. Please, I need a supervisor on the scene. Safe flight repair. Safe flight replace. I need a supervisor on the scene. Yeah, we got one. I need a supervisor on the scene. Hands behind your back right now. Hands behind your back right now. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. Let me get this out your hands. I'm not letting go of that. Okay, I'm going to put it on this top of the car. Thinking, thinking. You are our being recorded are by well. three of our cameras. And now you're under arrest for obstruction. How's that, huh? That's what you wanted, right? So, I'm the, the supervisor of the shift. Um, would you like to talk to me about yes. what happened? Okay, so do you understand each of these rights that I have explained to you? Yes. Okay. Um, having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? And especially as the last one said, if you don't want to answer a question that I ask, you just don't have to answer that. Okay? So, can you explain to me what happened and what led to the situation that, that is here now? Um, who's this officer who just walked by? Gentleman in the ball cap there? Yeah. Um, he's the one who initially pulled me over. Um, I apparently accidentally cut him off. Okay. I'm not familiar with that intersection, was unaware that it was, um, it was actually my father right there. Uh, okay. I was unaware that, that I couldn't turn right there, and I just started recently working with him in his office. Um, okay. Uh, he's a private investigator, um, he's been in criminal justice for over 30 years, and so I was actually out there doing some work, I uh, headed home, didn't realize I'd made a mistake, uh, the officer in the ball cap, or just at the, yeah, the officer in the ball cap, yeah. someone who's, um, pulled me over initially. I didn't realize I'd made a mistake. He declared my car smelled of marijuana. I was like, okay, he got me to pull over here. I did. Um, he called for backup. The second gentleman there ordered me out of the car. I was confused as to why. Uh, okay. demanded that I get out of the car. I told him I felt scared and unsafe, and he proceeded to bust my window out. Okay. And now I'm handcuffed in the back of a cop car. Okay. Very unaware of exactly what I've done wrong besides accidentally turning red okay. on the red light on accident. Okay. So, um... I'm very scared. Okay. And I'm very uncomfortable. All right. Um, I'm very upset about my car. Uh, I didn't mean to. I didn't okay. mean to turn red. I'm sorry. I, I would have gladly taken the ticket for yep. smelling like marijuana. Like, I didn't know I did anything wrong. So I'm very shaken right now. I didn't know I did something. Okay. And I just wanted to go home. All right. I want to go see my kids. I want to go see my husband. I don't want to be here right now. Oh, come on now. Uh, they told you in the beginning they, they don't cite for marijuana anymore, that uh, it's still illegal in the state of Ohio. The main issue was the illegal right turn that you apparently took, and, uh, well, that led to the whole situation, so it probably would have been a simple traffic violation, maybe a few dollars, and you would have been on your way. But you had to pull the sovereign citizen bullshit and, uh, well, now it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more. I mean, your uh, sovereign citizen boyfriend is probably going to be proud of you at this point. While your uh, father is going to be quite disappointed that his daughter went down that road. I mean, I would be. So, in, the, in several things, in the state of Ohio, a traffic stop is a detainment. It's a traffic 
a traffic law is a law. So when you're pulled over for the police officer, you have to abide by what the police officer is asking you to do. Okay. With grounds. There are stipulations and things like that. Okay. I'm educated enough to know. Okay. If an officer, of my okay, rights. even even without the smell of marijuana, if you pull over and an officer asks you to step out of your car, it's not true. An officer that pulls you over has the legal right if they believe that you're with, making with, any with, uh, any fertile movements, any furtive movements or anything to search the driver's side area of the car. That would mean removing you from the vehicle to do that. Okay. But you have to have but plausible in this particular cause. case. The RAS or RES or probable cause what there was the fact that uh they uh, smelled marijuana in your vehicle. Do you want to keep going down this soft tar route, get yourself into even deeper trouble by ignoring uh, what the police officers uh, say to you as far as RES goes? Because it's not advisable for you to do that, my friend. Uh, and it's even less advisable for you to continue to have that idiot of a boyfriend coach you through all this and get you into deeper shit. Marijuana is still legal or still illegal in the state of Ohio. It is not legal. So if an officer smells marijuana in your car and then they ask you to step out because they need to search your vehicle, it's a probable cause search based on the smell of marijuana. The smell of marijuana is not a probable articulable cause. It is. Okay. Okay. See, that's where you're mistaken. And the okay, place on the side of the road is not the place to argue that. That would be in the court of law. I just but was the, trying to go home. Okay. I didn't need to make okay. mistake. But, I accidentally cut somebody off. Now I'm in handcuffs. Okay. No, you're not in handcuffs I, for cutting him off. You're in handcuffs be nice because of this attitude right now that you're working up to. And that is believing. Okay. I'm genuinely scared. Okay. An officer approached my car and blew my window out without warning. He, no, he did. I was just trying to go home. He, he gave I was you scared. I was trying to go home. He gave you numerous I warnings. I wanted a moment to think, and he couldn't give me that. Okay, he gave you numerous why wouldn't you just listen to the officer? Because I wanted a couple of minutes to figure out what was happening. He I have my to you. rights, too. No, you have... No, I have my rights, too. You have rights, but you have to listen to the officer when they're explaining this process to you. That's not just how like right it's not now. I say jump, you say how high. Like, I'm allowed to have my rights and, and figure out what's happening before I have to be detained. So you like, can continue to just ignore what they're saying. No, I'm not Because you don't want to abide by what they're saying. I would have happily complied. How, how many how many times how long would he have had to keep asking you to open the door? Two more minutes. Say what? Yeah, okay, yeah. Two more minutes. Okay, yeah, okay, right. Yeah, like you wouldn't have uh, tried to prolong it any further than that had they not broken your window at that point. I uh, I'm sure it would have been only two more minutes. To let why me two minutes? Why myself? Why not why 20 seconds? Why do you need 10 seconds? Why? Why you? I didn't do anything. I'm sorry that I accidentally cut your officer off. That's that was my mistake. Okay, we're beyond I, that. I know you busted okay. my window out. Okay, well, and we're trying to explain to you why that happened, and you you don't want to see the reason for that happening. Then I apologize. Okay. Okay. So that's the, that's the reason that we're at where we're at now. Okay, I'm just trying to explain that to you so that you understand. But you keep getting very emotional and worked up, and hopefully you are starting to understand why I'm saying why we're at where we're at now. Okay? Okay, sit tight. Hello. Hi, I'm a dad. Hi. Yeah, I'm let you explain that, yeah. So, um, I'm a former law enforcement, mm -hmm. private investigator, and I'm okay. an office. Yeah, she explained that as well. She works for me, so she called me, she was up at the office, I don't know what the she did, but... Her boyfriend's one of these goddamn sovereign, you know. Okay. Well, I yell at him all the time. And it's so, so that's why I, I just. Yeah. I mean, we can see. You can release her. Great. Okay. I, that'll be, I, you know, that's my car. It's insert under my name. Okay. Um, I'd be happy to, but I'll make sure she goes to court or whatever she's got to okay. do. Okay. Um, Part yeah, we could see, you know, just from talking to her in a little bit of the back of the car here, you could see the the, the tinges of the sovereign citizen, or yeah, at least the yeah. the the belief. Okay, one of those came out of the car when <laughs> when when we actually opened up the passenger side right. door. So. Well, I'm gonna go back over to the office. I okay, got my dog's over there. I gotta get him home, and then um, 
Okay. But it seems really come get her. Yeah, so she was released into her father's custody eventually. And, uh, well, she still has pending charges on this particular case. But you need to take this as a lesson, little one, because this soft hard bullshit is not uh, uh, good for your future. Because if you get a bunch of charges on your uh, file as a result of this uh, kind of bullshit, well, uh, you won't be able to get that many jobs after that, I mean, this is the kind of thing that can wreck your future. So now is the time to get out of it before it's too late. And hopefully it isn't too late. So at any rate, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?